Hey there, this is Kristen with K Design Co. And this video, I'm going to show you how to embed a mailer light form into your show website. So this this works great if you're trying to um, get people to subscribe to a newsletter or um, download a freebie um, or kick off an email sequence. So what you're going to do is um, get your page all set up and ready um, where you want them to opt in. So you're probably going to have some other text on your, this page um, that's going to tell people what they're actually signing up for. Um, but for this example, I'm just kind of have a blank page. And then once you have that ready, you're going to go into MailerLite. And then um, you're going to navigate to the Forms tab. And then if you don't already have your form created, you're going to want to do that with this big orange button up here. And then once you have that created, you are going to hit get embed code for the form from your list that you want to embed. So MailerLite is a little bit unique compared to um, some of the other email platforms that I've used. And so you actually have to use two codes to get your form to show up. Um, so the first one here is a little piece of code that it says you need to put in your head tag. So just copy that there. And then what you're going to want to do is actually make sure you're not clicked inside of any canvas on the page where you're wanting to go. So I'm just going to click a different page and then click back out because um, the setting that I need to change is actually um, on the page settings versus the canvas settings. So um, once I'm only clicked on the page, then I see this field under advanced settings that says custom head HTML. And that's where you want to paste that text. So then you're going to save it. And then the second piece of code is this little guy here. So I'm going to copy that as well. And then I'm going to click inside my canvas with this one. And then I'm going to select embed code. So I'm going to pull that up on my page and then I double click into it and paste it right there. So one thing that you'll notice is it looks like nothing happens. So this is kind of um, because MailerLite uses two codes to render this form um, and the way that show it works on the preview, you're not going to be able to see your form. So that's one little trick of MailerLite, um, but because it is so usable um, in every other way, I kind of look past that one little flaw. Um, but if you do go ahead and preview the page, you'll see that it actually shows up um, the way that you want it to. And I can even pull this over and I see that it looks um, the way that I expected, um, even though it's not previewing in um, show it on this end. And like I said, that's because it has the two codes. Um, so you might just have to play around with it a little bit as far as sizing this box to make sure that um, everything is contained within the form. Um, another thing that you'll want to do is look at your mobile view. So my mobile form was way down there, so that's a good reminder for me to um, adjust some sizing here. So I'm going to even smaller than that. So yeah, I'm going to do try that. And then I'll also change the canvas size of this page because it's pretty large right now. There's no reason it needs to be that long. So um, that's a little bit closer. And then I'll just use this to kind of finish it up. Okay, perfect. So I just want to preview now on my mobile side that again, um, it's showing up the way that I want and short and sweet name and email and that looks pretty good to me and even if I wanted I could probably cut down a little bit of the space on the bottom of the page but um, overall it looks um, like it's integrated well with my site so I'm liking how that turned out and then if you have any questions about this training or are there any trainings that you would love to see please let me know in the comments and definitely subscribe to the channel 
um, so you can um, know about new tutorials that I'm putting out. All right, I think that's it for today. Have a great day.